Hello and welcome to my fourth Blender tutorial. In this tutorial I will teach you how to go from a cube to something that looks remotely like this. Now I have done this tutorial uh, five times by now and because of technical difficulties I had to redo it again and again and again and again. So I'll try to make quite of a simplified version and if this fails again I think I'll just kind of give up. It's uh, something with the recording software. So uh, let's begin. Go in edit mode. We uh, split the cube in half. Press Z to go in wireframe mode. B, select. X, remove the vertices. And uh, add a modifier. Uh, mirror, where is that? There. Right. And uh, in face mode, press E to extrude. Oh, sorry, clipping was supposed to be activated. To extrude down. E again. That's basically like the neck. Let's make this something like this. The chest area. Right here, we deactivate clipping so we can spread the legs to say so. Activate clipping again. Right. Right. Now go to vertex mode, bring this down a bit, this up, and this somewhat behind. I scale this a bit up like this. And Let's extrude the arms. Scale down a bit on the Z here so we can actually create the wrist area. Extrude a bit like this. Just be the actual wrist, and now the palm. And in vertex mode, and move this vertex is here. And go in face mode, and here we extrude the thumb. Now, as I already said, the model is very basic, nothing too complicated, to avoid frustration of losing everything I've worked on until this point. And so yeah, this is the base mesh, and now let's shape it up. Do a cut here, and a cut here. shape up the face. Also click here so we can actually see both sides as uh, editable parts. inward a bit goes from here and let's move this behind a bit the same for the neck here 
and what is sin? And especially this ones in and behind, like that. Just kill this up a bit. That's a lot better. So another thing we want to add is we have a chin. I forgot to shape this part up. Go behind. Good. Good. Now let's ship up the hands. You press Alt and click on an edge. In case I haven't pointed that out, you uh, <coughs> you are able to select all the edges in a continuous uh, path connected to that edge. Uh, it will however avoid the uh, 90 degrees angles and when a single vertex is connected to more than uh, uh, to it, uh, yeah I guess that's four vertices it will uh, have a bit of trouble selecting the right uh, thing to say so. Now let's scale this down a bit. Wow, that this looks huge. So ship it up a bit more. Right. Now, this was the chest area. <sighs> it should be somewhere more in the front. Let's say so. Now uh, because I am sort of rushing through this, it won't really look as good as it's supposed to, but I'm sure you can live with that. This is weird.
good. Right, so now let's move this inside of it and this. Oh, oh wrong direction. Side like this. So, um, let's just kill it all down a bit. Yeah. Now, because it was rushed, it <sighs> doesn't look as good as I wanted it to, but it's good enough. Hopefully, this time the recording software will decide to save the recording so that I can actually upload this if not all well, this effort was in vain so um, in the next tutorial I will show you how to animate this character and we're done